And then under what circumstances did you leave that one-room apartment and who were you with? Well, the whole family was ultimately uh, put on the transport uh, to uh, Theresienstadt on 27th of July, 1942. We were among, not the last, but the later group of people to leave from Cologne, mainly because there were four of us working in, uh, in important defense industries, one, way, one kind or another. And so uh, it was delayed. But we were leaving at that time and uh, were able to take only, of course, one suitcase per person, and well, that was the end of it. How old were you? I was 14 when we left Cologne. Tell me about that transport and, where, and what happened when you got to Theresienstadt. Well, the transport was uh, in freight wagons, which was <laughs> unexpected, but uh, we had no choice by that matter. We were herded together in, in a large exposition area near Cologne and put into freight wagons, not overstuffed, but sufficiently stuffed. Of course, we had not thought of taking water, and that was probably our worst uh, mistake, if it was a mistake, and we, we spent then three days in those wagons traveling to Theresienstadt, or Terezin, in northeastern Czechoslovakia. Let me understand this. When you say transport wagons... Freight wagons. Freight cars? Or freight cars. Fr well, yeah, on a the train. Railroad. A train, yes, on the railroad train. And was that covered or uncovered? They were covered. Do you know how many people were in a train car? I wouldn't remember, but there was, it was crowded, but not overcrowded. It was a long, long uh, train. We were the last of our extended family to leave, uh, except for an uncle who had married a Christian and who remained somewhat untouched until later in the war when he had to go into hiding. But there were uh, records that I have seen of it, uh, an estimated 55 people that had gone on transport from the extended family and of whom I, I know of no survivors. Tell me what happened when you got off that transport in Theresienstadt with your family. We uh, first, my, the first separation took place. My grandmother was separated out and we didn't see her for a week. The rest of us walked about uh, mile and a half, two miles, about three kilometers from the station to the uh, ghetto itself. And we were quartered in different buildings in the ghetto.